I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. Man, he's such a beast. He floated down like a whole beast. Look at that shit, fam. <laughs> what? What's going on? What? What? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain. Here's your scout. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> so this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. <laughs> Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth, Chi Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. He seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, didn't they? And hurry. Those earthlings need you. Uh, okay. I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, <laughs> very well then. That's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Where are the Dragon Balls? 
They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's... The Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. Just gonna tell some random dude just because he looked like Goku that got a scouter on, even though Goku don't need a scouter, and hanging out with one of the Ginyu Force Men. They're just gonna tell him of, like all this shit. You know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. He's obviously evil. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga face. It's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin, that's not my dad. Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it. Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? and, and you're... Krillin, Gohan, that's not me. <laughs> Wow, you actually made it this far. <laughs> That's correct. I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no, it can't be. That's my dad? He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on. Trillin, I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool. The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks. Let me join in a fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Alright. See that? When, when did you... 
Got the squad in this bitch. Let's do this shit. Who I'm playing with? I don't play with Gohan, man. I don't play with Gohan. If I gotta play with somebody. I play, I'd rather play with Vegeta, but whatever. Wow, both these motherfuckers. Ooh, that was nice. Where am I at? Why am I? Okay, what, what the hell happened with the camera? Okay, there we go. There we go. Ah, right, you can you ass whoop, can you? All right, that hurt a little bit. Damn, I thought I was doing the move. He beat my ass. Damn! Hey, 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 bro, chill out with that, bro. Right down. Damn! You guys gonna casually knock me out of my super moves and shit. Alright, got a little bit of damage right there. All right, that's it for getting you. Get your bitch ass up out of here. Now your ass. Let's do this shit, punk. That, that haircut is garbage, man. <laughs> like, you got to do something about that, girl. Hey, what you doing with that ball, pimp? Ah, uh -huh. it's all coming. You just walked out of the gallop gun and shit, what, just casually. Yeah, you getting the beats, man. Bullshit down, fam. That gotta be an S. That gotta be an S. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I knew that was an S. I knew that was it. Ooh, your ass is gone. Damn, crispy. This can't be happening. Chase couldn't have been defeated so easily. He just did. You're next. Fucked up, but in the meantime, though. What the hell just happened? What was that just now? That feels like my dad, all right. My dad, he's back in his own body. Damn it. This time, this time I'm taking Vegeta's body. Uh oh. If he switches places with Vegeta. We're all done for. Not good. Now, your body is mine, Vegeta! Perfect. Change! <laughs> Poor frog. I did it. I turned.
turned him into a frog. <laughs> There ain't no way to go out like a hero, pimp. <laughs> Damn, Nell. Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. Why would you tell him that? He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. I really don't understand. Why would you tell Frieza this shit? I don't understand what? it. What? A little worm from before. You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No, all five of them couldn't have. They couldn't have all been defeated. No, something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! No! The almighty Frieza will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! This medical machine. <laughs> Damn, look at his eyes. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know talking about Vegeta be clean out here. Whoa, this is crazy. Super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shinron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Okay. Let's hope we don't run into him first. In fact, this motherfucker Vegeta said, Y'all go find out how to use Dragon Balls. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> like, he just casually said, I'm just going to take a nap. Fuck it. Did I get the good one? Okay. No, I did not. What's this? I gotta pick that up. Why not? They gave me the D. Damn it! Let's get on over here. Someone's on the move. Wait, that power! It's Dende. Krillin, go on. What are you doing here? Uh, well. We finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it. This is perfect. Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. 
Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah. He's probably still sleeping. Good. We gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. Made it. So how's Vegeta? Uh, he's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. All right. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Oh. Someone's coming this way. They're super fast. Yeah. It's Frieza. Hurry, Dede. Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes. But right. Takarato popurunga puparito saro. But the but the who 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 what? No. And the sky is getting dark. Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth. Seven Dragon Balls. Now, state your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Freeze. I was gonna say, like, bro, we on the time limit. Bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans. Banda Parura, Ruti Mararu, Ban Paritsu, Umera Tohero, Runchuro, Itash Kunchpa, Pontero, Ruche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. What? Oh, no! Hmm. It seems they can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. So you don't say hurry and then casually walk over there. Can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good, okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back! Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. Hey, calm down, you have Piccolo. To me to Namek. Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good. Do whatever you want for the third wish. How are you gonna take up two thirds of the wishes? You dead. Ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Poto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Mopuso, Patorate Morimpe, Puri Pupas, Puya Kirigo. Understood. I will grant your first wish. Mm. 
Coming! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back. And then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay. Harumokura Akororu, Stenonithro, Hikoloru Magaka, Hamakaroru. Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. I'm not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a mass of energy in the distance. Oh, it must be that monster Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've gotta be Gohan and the others! They just give you XP and shit. That shit is so annoying. I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here. But what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. What the hell is that monstrosity? <laughs> those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose. Damn them! Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Fix your haircut, Gohan. He granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but, but you didn't say where. D did you want me to have him sent here? No, now what are we supposed to do? Fix your haircut, Gohan. Uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! Wait. We get three wishes. So that means... There's still one left. W what are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? I'm sorry, do you have some place to be, sir? At this point. Hurry, did they? Grant Vegeta's wish. Y'all could just make Goku immortal. That's all I'm saying. He's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally. Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes. Disappeared. The Dragon Balls, they're, they're stone. G Grand Elder Guru, he's gone. He finally died. Well, damn. What, what do you mean? What about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no. Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? 
I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. Man, he's such a beast. He floated down like a whole beast. Look at that shit, fam. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale. You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your death long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! We're... we're doomed! What is this power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising. And the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go. Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> Damn, he just dismissed you. It's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? Transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. What did you just say? He's bluffing. Relax. He doesn't have that much power. Oh, you think so? I don't think the brother plan. Yeah, I recall when I took over planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Huh. So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on, transform. Show us what you really look like, Frieza. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't press the brother. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. You're in for a rare treat. Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form. His power level, it's insane! <laughs> Careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. Look at this big beefy motherfucker. Look at his neck. Look at his shoulders. Oh shit. Why is he carrying then that he can fly? Scared, Vegeta. What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? Hell no. Damn you, Frieza! Now then, who shall I send to hell first? What about you? Damn. What have you done to him? You didn't see him? He said style. You, <laughs> you ain't see it? I don't know. I don't want no problem. Dude, your bitch ass better help me. Fuck! 
Fuck! Fuck! Bro, that shit ain't do nothing. Fuck! And I was blocking. I just barely saw that shit. Bruh. Bruh. I gotta power up. We actually doing alright. We looking half decent here. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit, punk. Fuck! Something happened there. All y'all need to know is I won. I get an A, bro. I beat his man. Cheating ass game. How surprising! That little attack of yours just now actually managed to hurt. But you are no match for me. All you've succeeded in doing is angering me further. Oh, it's no use. Damn it! So much for that plan of ours. You was the one like transform, Frieza. Transform. Transform. I won't see what the fuck you can do. And like, we probably could have killed the motherfucker if he was small still. <laughs>